I mean, a lot of inspiration it can it can sort of pop up anywhere. You can be walking down the street, you can be going through a market, um, just sitting there in a cafe. It doesn't really matter. Watching the world go by, and then just out the corner of your eye, you can see that one little interesting form that appears, um, an expression on someone's face. And then suddenly you get that spur of inspiration comes up and you see something. You don't really know where the ideas are coming from. Suddenly it's just sort of coming out of your mind, your brain. You hit your hands, hits the pen, or, you know, an idea just sort of pops up. We've tried to give this car a lot more expression. And if you look at any face of anyone walking down the street, it's always the eyes that sort of draw you in, give that personal connection. And that's why we put a lot of emphasis on the actual lamps. Starting with the DNA lamps. The DNA lamps which sort of sit there and encapsulate the grill on either side. They're there to promote the DNA features that we have. Well, when it comes to our DNA, what we wanted to do is also give it a stronger presence on the, on the road, on the marketplace. Um, there are obviously a number of ways you can do that. The important thing is that the customer, for example, out there, notices the car from a further distance. That means increasing the visual volume intensifying some of the design language, some of the features, making them stronger, bolder, uh, more expressive. Looking at the uh, visual identity of the vehicle, looking at the branding. As you can see here, it's a lot larger, bolder, getting the, the strength that it deserves. We've also at the same time taken away the box and given it this matte uh, aluminium finish. Now the iron mark, together with the diagonal, is now incorporated in the new trapezoid grill. So this gives our car even a stronger identity and a, a fresher look from the front. We want to keep the DNA, develop it, but at the same time give it a dramatic new approach. And how are we going to do that? Well, one of the first points is to give our vehicles a stronger face. It starts off with what we call the DNA lamp. Now the new unique DNA lamps not only give us a stronger brand recognition and visual identity, daytime and nighttime, they're also there to emphasize the DNA that we have. The verticality of the front end at one point, but also the V-shape, which is coming down from the A-pillar down towards the grille. Now, if we look at the headlamp itself, a lot more expressive. You can see there's a lot more direction, attitude, expression on the front end, but also attention to detail, which is very important. Some very interesting form language and a very interesting play then with the angles, the shapes, and the surface development. Now the headlamps are really poured up onto the fender. That actually helps disguise the volume to the front end and gives a very interesting flow then into the actual shoulder. Together with the truncated plan shape, that really helps foreshorten that front overhang, giving the car a sporty, dynamic look. Now as we move around the car, you can see the shoulder interpreted in a slightly new way, very strong and muscular. Now that is actually accentuated this time with an undercut. Starting then here at the front fender, blending out as it works down the side of the vehicle. Well, if you look at the XC60, you can see it's a good combination of really two types of vehicles. Down below, very muscular XC, very bold and above very sleek, dynamic and, and sporty. 
Um, we wanted to give the car this very dynamic feeling, uh, at the same time bringing a lot of expression, uh, give the car a certain attitude, uh, and be very emotional at the same time. As we walk to the rear, you'll see the angled rear lamps, the way the graphic is then of then the, the C-pillar, the way the belt line kicks up, all emphasizes the stance and the dynamics of the vehicle. Here with the use of the LED technology and then this macro optic flag, you can really see those shoulders emphasized. Now, really lighting up the whole sculptural rear end of the car. This is emphasized also by the use of taking the shut line graphic of the real tailgate out and then tucking it in at the bottom with a trapezoid form. Very reminiscent of the front end. And you can see that same connection and harmony with the way we've actually treated the sculpture elements here on the bumper. So a lot of very interesting form language. To really give the car a slightly wider appearance, you can see this line with a very slight little recess here, emphasizing the width and connecting that rear lamp graphic to give a certain solidity. And then the integral spoiler, this time, with this very interesting, unique way of incorporating the third brake light. A lot of sculpture, something very unique. And of course, not to forget the Volvo text, just like on the front of the car, giving the brand identity a stronger positioning, spacing it out larger. Um, the XS60 is obviously the, let's say, the next step in what we call modern Scandinavian design. Um, of course, everything we do should always be connected back to those fundamentals of Scandinavian design, whether that's the functionality, a certain simplicity, but not over simple that it becomes bland. It should be connected to excitement, um, playing with sculpture form and using the best out of the light that we have and the colors at the same time. Now, just like the exterior, the interior is modern Scandinavian design stepped up to a new level. Starting off with a focal point or icon of our interiors, always the center stack, floating as you know it, but this time asymmetrical and driver orientated. Obviously all the controls, the information directed towards the driver, so better ergonomics, but also giving a lot more storage than before. Now this firm focal central point of the car, the center stack treated in a different way, this time with an integral silk metal frame, also the inlay of wood or aluminiums, and the navigation screen incorporated in this central area. We wanted to give the same sort of harmony between the centre stack and the doors, so the same silk metal frame direction, similar angles, getting that strong connection. Another strong connection is the use of chamfers. You've heard me talk about them on the exterior, but they're reminiscent here on the interior as well, here flowing around the seats. Another very interesting feature of the seat is actually the X shape. We really wanted to emphasize the XC form language. And you can see here through the use of the colors, the different grains, and of course the stitching, that the, the seat pattern gives a very interesting graphic. Another neat feature of the interior is obviously the large panorama glass roof. This allows a lot more light into the vehicle and giving them the occupants a lot better visibility up towards the city skylines. If you look at Volvos up until now, one of the key selling points or reasons for a customer actually buying the car has been obviously the safety aspect. Um, you always hear the functional side, you know, people want something that's very practical. Not too often have they really been out there buying the cars just because of design. From, from our perspective, that's why we want the people to buy the cars. You know, to get emotionally excited, passionate about design um, of their vehicles. And um, that's what we're obviously trying to do by increasing the visual volume.
getting people maybe really excited about the design of the vehicle now for the first time.